Welcome back, Towners. Today we're going to season a cast iron skillet. Let's get it. All right, guys. I um went to Walmart and purchased this 15-inch uh, cast iron skillet. This thing is ginormous. And um, I also bought a uh, cast iron griddle. Uh, the, the, this large skillet was about $16 and the cast iron griddle was $9. Um, but when I got them, um, I realized they were like really rough. They say a pre-season, but they were really rough on the, on, the, on the top half or the cooking surface. And it basically was bump, it felt like concrete. Um, felt like a, a if you ever seen a line truck bed that had that little black grayish liner on them, it's not just straight bare metal. That's pretty much what it felt like. But um, so I got some sandpaper and a sanding stone like this and basically sand it down all of the insides of the skillet. And you can see the ash that's on that came from this pan here. Um, I ended up doing all of my skillets. I just took a night and just did all this. Um, this is the eight inch cast iron skillet that I had and sanded it down below. That's the 15 inch. And this was a carbon steel pan that you see me cook with in some videos. This is already seasoned, but it has some bumpy uh, spots on it where uh, it the uh, season didn't cure, the patina didn't cure properly. So I just sanded this one down as well. Um, once you sand them down, you realize that the uh, it'll, it'll turn white underneath the sanding portion that you cleared. Um, and you basically, uh, once you once you rub your hands around on, on top of the pan, you realize it starts to get smooth, and you know that you've sanded it down enough. You don't need to go bare white or bare gray or anything like that. Uh, but what you want to do is you want to put your pans in the oven for 200 at 200 degrees for about 20 minutes. Uh, you don't need to get them smoking hot or anything. But once they uh, after 20 minutes, you can take them out and you can start seasoning them with your oil. Um, this product here, this little deodorant stick looking thing was called crispy stick. It's a, uh, uh palm oil and beeswax that is supposed to help with cleaning and, and, and uh, seasoning your pans. You can use that. I found that on Amazon. You can use flaxseed oil. You can use, uh, lard, uh, Crisco, um, any high spoke, spoke point oil, avocado oil. Um, you can use a lot of different things, but basically what you want to do is, um, once you take them out the oven at 200 degrees, you can use a blue shop rack like you see here or microfiber towel or any lint free towel. I would season or wipe down the insides of all of the pans first with oil um, and then get to working on the outside. You want to do inside and out. Once you get to the outside, you know, your towels will start breaking apart because it's kind of rough on the outside of them. But um, just wipe them down. Then you're going to put them in the oven at 400 degrees. Uh, for an hour. Once you get to that hour point, leave the oven door closed and let the oven come down to regular temperature by itself. Once it's able to cool to the touch, you can either start your second coat or third coat. Um, you're going to need to do this about three or four times. The more times, the better. It'll start to get smoother and smoother. Um, this was after here. This is like after our second or third coat. You can see each time we did it, it got, it went from white. It was originally white or grayish um underneath the black where we sanded it down and it got a little brown a little brown a little brown and now it's more of an auburn color um this is the uh, uh microfiber towel i was referring to um i keep this pretty much doused with oil and i just leave it in a uh a ziploc bag when i take it out i can just wipe down whatever pan i need and i just put it back in the bag and store it um so that's the option you can do as well but this is after our fourth coat i believe um, this is how I did, was, was heating them up in the oven, just face down so that no oil would pool up inside the pans. And they came out nice. They were smooth to the touch and starting to get more softer and softer. Um, I haven't tried really cooking them yet, but I just kept working on them for the process. So, um, hope you guys want to try this out. Um, if you got any new season pans, you can, uh, cast iron skillet pans, you can definitely do this for. You can also do this for pans that you may have purchased from Goodwill or got from somewhere else, family member, older pan, even pans that have rusted out. Those pans are not trash because cast iron pans pretty much last forever um, as long as they aren't broke or cracked or anything. You can basically uh, get some steel wool or some 
heavy 60 grit sandpaper um, a disc sander, not disc sander, like a little mouse sander with some sandpaper uh, and just basically sand them down. Um, I've seen people do it with other methods and plastic bags and, and chemicals and stuff, but you just need some sandpaper um, and, and, and some elbow grease. Um, just sand down the, uh, the pan um, as smooth as you can get it and then start the seasoning process again it's going to be uh it's very simple just put it in the oven at 200 degrees for about 20 minutes for the pan to warm up and uh, start to soak the oils in that you have then you want to pour in a little bit of oil wipe it down with a lint-free towel you want to get all the oil out because once you heat it up in the oven you don't want the oil to pull up so you want to put a small amount of oil wipe it down and get all that oil out excess oil out so that just the pan inside out is just coated put them in the oven face side down for 400 degrees for about an hour and after that hour is up leave the oven door closed to allow it to come to temp come down to a, a temperature that you can touch and by hand and then you can start your second and third coats um, again you want to do this as many coats as you can so that the pan gets more non-stick each time you do it and you'll have a pan that'll last you a lifetime uh thank you guys for watching enjoy enjoy and please subscribe enjoy hey guys as always please like share and subscribe if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comment section below all menu items are listed in the description box and thank you guys for watching